It's one of the best horror movie subscription services around. Cross my heart and hope to die. which just also happens to be, seeing as we are firmly planted mid-February, to be a tagline from one of my favorite holiday slasher movies, the original My Bloody Valentine. Yes, Valentine's Day has fast approached and is now past us. We get to look forward to that for next year. And Valentine's Day, of course, is one, one of those holidays where, of course, that special somebody in your life gets treated to chocolates, to candy, to flowers, to maybe their bloodied heart inside a heart-shaped box of chocolates. Oh, right, yeah, we're talking about my bloody Valentine still. It is, unfortunately, the downside to want, watching, wanting to watch holiday slasher movies is that you have to wait all year for it to happen again. Somebody yells from the back of the audience, well, why don't you just watch it any time of the year? No, 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 no. Get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy. Watching a holiday-themed slasher movie any time in the year, it doesn't work that way. Somebody escort this guy, say, yeah, yeah, somebody escort this guy out. Yeah, the one the one in the back, the one with the weird looking yellow sweater. Yeah, escort him out. Okay. All these slashers should be firmly planted in the month in which they are taken from. Same for the same reasoning why I don't watch Halloweens until October. Same reason why I don't watch Silent Night, Deadly Night, or Christmas Evil until, of course, December. But we're firmly planted, now passing Valentine's Day. We're now still into February, and we're going to have a look at the horror pack for February 2019. And speaking a little bit about how Valentine's Day fast approached us, and now it's past us, I still hope inside somewhere in here is going to be a holiday-themed Valentine's Day slasher. To which the only ones I'm really familiar with are, of course, the original My Bloody Valentine, the remake My Bloody Valentine, which was a superior remake, still like the original, and in fact, this year, I watched the original, and then there's the Valentine standalone slasher movie, but I don't think there's any others. We're going to peruse inside. I did actually already cut this to realizing later that the camera wasn't rolling. Ugh, should have had a V8. Needless to say, we're going to reach inside. And even though you have missed out sad, sad people on February's bag, if you subscribe to the Horror Pack right now, you may very well still be able to jump on board the March month and go through every single month until we get around to the next holiday, which would be, of course, well, I guess it would be Thanksgiving, and then it would be Halloween. Um, I think in States it's November. Anyways, we're going to reach inside. We're going to find out what we got inside from the horror pack. I'm going to pull out one at a time, and then we're, of course, going to look at it. We're going to digest it like a sandwich, and then we're going to deep jump back in, splash, and we're going to pull out the next one. What do we got here? The first one for February is Some Kind of Hate, starring Rowan Rubenstein, Grace Phipps, Sierra McCormick, and Spencer Breslin. A vicious, poignant new take on the supernatural slasher, says Shock Till You Drop. On the back, relentless, relentless bullying has turned Lincoln's life into a nightmare, but soon he learns the true meaning of terror when he is sent to a remote school for troubled teens, and the harassments start all over again. Only this time, someone is watching a teenage girl named Moira, Moira, who was driven to suicide by vicious bullying years ago. When Lincoln accidentally summons Moya from the grave, he unleashes a vengeful and unstoppable force on a mission of blood-soaked revenge. I love blood-soaked revenge. Hell on Earth has a new meaning in this gruesome shocker guaranteed to please any and every type of horror fan. That says Fangoria. Special features include deleted scenes, filmmaker commentary, cast audio commentary with Ruben Rubenstein, Ronan Rubenstein, Grace Phipps, and Sierra McCormick. Runtime is 83 minutes. Release time 2015. Never heard of it. No idea. It's not. I, I don't think that is a Valentine themed slasher. So I will put this one down. And the future films will be piled up right here as I pull in to the pull into the bag pull into the bag and I grab the next title see what we got in here the next one is misery 
Oh, this is neat because they included the Shout Factory slip sleeve. This is the collector's edition starring James Caan and Kathy Bates. I sort of guess that could be kind of falling into the realm of Valentine's Day in the month of love. Of course, this love takes a sadistic and almost controlling manner, I guess obsessed manner. Anybody that has not seen Misery, do yourself a favor, my friends. Check it out. Good movie. Paul Sheldon used to write for a living. Paul Sheldon used to live, write for a living. Now he's writing to stay alive. The classic read-up on The Shining is novelist Paul Sheldon doesn't remember the blinding blizzard that sent his car spinning off the road. But he will never forget Annie Wilkes. Uh, James Caan and Academy Award winner Kathy Bates star in this bone-shattering Thriller Mystery, Misery, adapted from the novel by Stephen King. As Paul, played by Khan, recuperates from his injuries in the secluded cabin of his benefactor, Annie, played by Bates, he begins to discover that beneath the seemingly kind and naive exterior of his self-described number one fan lurks a mind that is cunning, unhinged, and bent on keeping her favorite writer as her personal prisoner for the rest of his cock -a duty life. Adapted by two-time Oscar-winning screenwriter William Goldman and directed by Rob Reiner, who also directed Stand By Me and The Princess Bride. Misery is, a, is considered by critics and fans, number ones and others, to be among the greatest horror thrillers of all time. Revisit this classic tonight with your friends. After all, Misery loves company. The release time of this, or the runtime, is 108 minutes. The original release of this, if you could believe it, was 1990. That's a long time ago. That would be, what, 29 years ago. 29 years ago. I still remember 1990 very well. Some of you may not even remember 1990 because you weren't born yet. God, that makes me feel old. Pulling out the next one. Oh, what is this? This is the Hail to the Chief. Or he'll hack you to pieces, the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray of President's Day. Well, it's not quite Valentine's Day, but it's still a holiday, so we can count that. It's a film by Chris Lamart Lamartina. Lamartina? I guess it's the name of the director. A very short read-up with unfortunately not much in the way of pictures on the back. It's campaign season and the students of Lincoln High are buzzing about who's going to be class president. But when a psycho dressed as Abraham Lincoln starts hacking up students, the candidates must run for their lives. One by one, the mighty Lincoln lambs are being slaughtered by the merciless maniac in the stovepipe hat. Everyone is dying for a vote. These special features include Blood in the Campaign Trail, The Making of President's Day, Blooper Reel, Audio Commentary, Original and Retro Trailers, President's Day 2 Faux Trailer. Release date on this is 2010. Run time for this is 82 minutes. That's good. That's at least a holiday-themed horror movie. And last but certainly not least, the last movie title inside this month's horror pack is... This is... What is this? From the producers of Halloween and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes Violent Kind. I'm assuming that's what the name of the movie is, or The Violent Kind. I ignoring all the stuff that's in the middle, the patches in the middle of his vest. This looks to be something that was derived, of course, from Sons of Anarchy. Uh, buckets of blood run throughout. Kind is... Buckets of blood run throughout. Kind is violent. I had to put a little couple of periods in there. This was official selection from Sundance Film Festival. Brace yourself for an unrelenting new horror classic that's scary, rough, and willing to break all the rules. Your life will never be the same when you meet the violent kind, a ruthless pack of unstoppable psychopaths terrorizing the wilds of Northern California. Now they have their eyes on young Cody, a member of notorious biker gang whose ex-girlfriend, Michelle, played by Scream Queen Tiffany Shepis, turns up hysterical, drenched in blood, and carrying a dark, terrifying secret. Unrelenting and wildly unpredictable, this acclaimed shocker from the Butcher Brothers, directors of the horror hits The Hamiltons, shocked audiences at Sundance, and takes you on a wild ride you'll never forget. The runtime on this one is... where are we? 89 minutes. And the release date on this is 2011. 
Again, never even heard of it. Well, actually here it says 2010. Over here it says 2011. So I guess this image was released in 2011. The original movie was released in 2010. Special features, blink, you'll miss it. Deleted scenes, making a featurette, and of course the trailer. That's not bad. Um, I, I am a little on the disappointed side that we didn't get ourselves some holiday themed goodies, but still nonetheless, we did technically get one holiday and even though it wasn't celebrating love, it was celebrating voting season, we did get ourselves President's Day. Here are the titles that we got in this go around, this run through of the horror pack for February 2019. We did get Working Backwards, The Violent Kind, the horror pack limited edition Blu-ray of President's Day. Misery, that's pretty cool with a slip cover. And starting it all, some kind of hate, which is also something that many people consider Valentine's Day as well. So sort of how we kind of worked our way around. We went full circle. Superman fully rotated around the Earth and he came back to rescue Lois Lane. Sort of gave that away. <laughs> Today we were having a look at the horror pack for February 2019. We didn't get any love. We sort of got a mixture of obsession, vengeance, revenge, all of which many people can really chalk up and describe their previous relationships. All the things I just listed. <laughs> Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, my colleagues, friends of mine, as certainly more horror movies and uh, certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.